Uh, so the backstory mm -hmm. to Annabelle is um, great. I, I, I love that it has a New, Eng New England tie-in. I'm from New England, so. Mm. Um, so can you tell me a little bit of the, the transition from The Conjuring to Annabelle, how that process you know, worked out? Well, the thing of it is, this is a, it, you know, this sets up the opening scene of The Conjuring, which sets up a case that the sets really up a case that the Warrens, you know, covered, if you will, back in the day. So it's uh, it's it's related, but it's unto itself. You know, it's a it's a prequel, and I think that if you, the if you listen to what Ed Warren, Patrick Wilson said in in the beginning, is that you know the the demon and the devil is the master of deceit. And even it even deceived the clairvoyant that talked to those nurses um, there, and basically, um, and 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 tricked them to believe that this this innocent little girl who died in this house, was, you know, just wanted to be friends. Well, but what he said is that's not what really happened. So, if if you think about it, I mean, this Annabelle, our story takes place in Santa Monica. It's not actually in the East Coast, but how it made its way to the West Coast, to where you're from, is kind of like, hmm, how did it get there? And I think that that's kind of creepy in itself, because, you know, I can't give anything away, you know, with for the movie, but in the end, you, you, you know she's gone somewhere else. Mm, and have you been to the museum? I personally have not. Oh, yeah, um, I, I would actually, I would dig it. I, I mm. wouldn't have a problem going down there, but of course, I've seen the pictures, I researched it, and then we, we duplicated it in the Conjuring. You know, when I, I we shot it, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I would actually, I would, uh, I'd be interested in, in actually seeing it, but I haven't. No. Mm, okay, um, and now for people who aren't um, into horror movies or, th yeah. or thr supernatural thrillers, yeah. which I'm not, I have to admit, but I loved the story. Um, cool. What would you say to people to, um, you know, to your audience to, to watch this movie if they're not into this kind of genre? I think if you just want to just um, watch a movie or get, in, get, get engulfed in a, in a story that's about a woman protecting her baby, and it's, it's really a, it's a thriller, and it's very suspenseful, it's very psychological. Uh, if you want to see a movie that has, I think, really good acting, and, and starting with Annabelle Wallace and Ari and Ward and, and Offrey Woodard and Tony and... Uh, uh, Eric, uh, if you just want to get entertained and, and you like thrillers, you would like this movie. Mm. And now, in terms of your belief system mm. and paranormal activity and yeah. stuff, have you ever had any experiences and do you believe in that? I'm open to it, yes. I've had my own personal experience once when I was way back in high school. I was, I, and I was raised Catholic, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not religious anymore, but I will say that. Um, the Exorcist really affected me, and then one little mm -hmm. personal experience that I had definitely opened opened the, the door. Will you reveal what that experience? It's, it it kind of would take a little too long to uh, to explain it, but I, I I was in a in a motel where nobody was supposed to be upstairs, and there were people upstairs on the on the ceiling, like in our movie, and uh, scratching the the door in the middle wow. of the night. Spooky. So that was kind of creepy.